In this lecture, I will show you how to create and access a OpenAI account. To do that, launch your web browser, search for OpenAI account. Click on the very first link which says OpenAI account. This will take you to the sign up page where you can enter your email ID, give it a password and you will be able to create an account and log in which is super simple or you can use your Gmail ID or a Microsoft ID or a Apple ID if you have them. It's a straightforward process. Once you log in, you will be taken to this home page where you can start with the basics. There are tons of tutorials and examples for you. If you scroll down, there are more examples on building applications, building chat GPT plugins, etc. Scroll up. We'll be walking through several of these links as we progress in the course. For now, go to the top right corner. This is your profile here. Click on manage account. This is where under settings, you can give whatever name you want. Initially, it will be personal. If it's a personal account, you can change it to your own first name. Or if it's an organization account, you can give the name of your company here. And organization ID, this is a generated ID. I'll talk more about organizations in lecture later on. For now, go to billing on the left. You'll have the payment options where you can configure a credit or debit card. Then uh, click on pricing to show you that it's free for the first $5. Hit Ctrl F, search for free. Here it says start for free. Start experimenting with $5 in free credit that can be used during your first three months. This $5 is more than enough for you to finish this course. Hope it stays for long. Go back. You can see the preferences, which is for a company, which is for an organization where you can enter your purchase order, billing email, primary business address, etc. And you can look at your billing history here. It will show you all the invoices for the past months. If you click on this usage, it is important that you know about this link usage. You can see the usage across months. So it shows you how much you have spent. If you scroll down, you can even see usage this month. You can pick a particular day of the month. And it will show you the calls you have made, the API calls you have made, and uh, how much you have spent in there, the requests you have sent in. All that information to which language model, and also the number of requests you have sent in can be found there. As you can see in September, I have only spent $1.21 out of my free credits. I'll be walking you through the other important links here as we progress in the course. 